Hello students, today we are going to read a summary of the folk tale, How She Came. This is a traditional tale because it has a simple plot, it is a simple story that teaches a lesson. And the animals are the characters who talk and act like people. The author of the How Chicken is Alma Flor Ala. Let's begin. Before reading the story, I would like to present to you a review of the verbs or some verbs that are, um, are written differently when they um, refer to the past. So we have the tale in past is told, a begin in past is began, come is came, have is had, no is new, go is went, find is found, sell is sold. Here we have more irregular verbs. Blow, blew in past. In present, see, in past, saw. Fleen, the path of fleen is flung. Throw, the path of throw is through. Feel, fell. Stand, the path is stood. And the path of art is where. Now, let's begin with the story. Have you seen a weather vane? This is an old, old story that my grandmother once told me. And before that, her, gran her grandmother told it to her. A long, long time ago, on a Mexican ranch, a mother hen was sitting on her eggs. All the baby chicks began to hatch, but the last egg still did not crack open. The mother hen could not be with the other baby chicks because she was still sitting on the last egg. Finally, the 13th chick came out into the world. Jet this last chick was not an ordinary chick. He had only one wing, only one egg, only one eye, and only half of as many feathers as the other chicks. Everybody at the ranch knew that a very special chick has been born. The ducks told the turkeys. The turkeys told the pigeons. The pigeons told the swallows. The swallow flew over and told the cows eating peacefully. Told the fierce bulls and the swift horses. All the animals wanted to see this strange chick. One dog said, Quack, but he only had one wing. One turkey said, He's only a half chicken. Half chicken became the center of all attention and became very vain. One day, 
Hong Shikin heard the swallows talking that not even at the core of the Viceroy in Mexico City is there anyone as unique. Hong Shikin decided to leave the ranch to go to Mexico City. Hip hop, hip hop, off he went, hippity hoppity, alone on his only food. How she can found a stream whose waters were blocked by some branches. The stream asked how she can if he could move the branches that were blocking his waters. How she can move the branches aside. The stream suggested him to stay to take a swim. He said, I'm off to Mexico City to see the court of Viceroy. Hip hop, hip hop, off he went. Hippity hoppity alone on his only food. How she can found a small fire burning between some rocks. The fire asked, how she can. Please find me with your wind, for I am about to go out. How she can fend the fire with his wing and blazed up again. The fire suggested him to stay and warm up. He said, I am off to Mexico City to see the court of Viceroy. Hip hop, hip hop, off he went, hippity hopping alone on his only food. How she can find a wind tangled in some bushes. The wind asked how she can. Good morning, will you please untangle me? How she can untangle the wind. The wind suggested him to stay and play and offered to help him fly here and there. He said, I am off to Mexico City to see the court of Viceroy. Hip hop, hip hop, off he went. He put the hoping alone on his, on his only food. Finally, half chicken reached Mexico City. Half chicken crossed the enormous great plaza. He passed the Parian, the market where all kind of beautiful goods and food were sold. Finally, how she can reach the gate of the Viceroy's palace. Good morning, I have come to see the Viceroy, said how she can to the guards. The guards laughed and said, you better go to the kitchen. Half chicken went hip hop, hip hop around the palace to the kitchen door. The cook saw him and said, What luck! This chicken is just what I need to make a soup to the rain. The cook threw half chicken in the water that was sitting on the fire. Half chicken fell the hot water and said, Oh fire, help me, please, don't burn me. The fire answered, You help me when I need help. Now it's my turn to help you. Ask the water to jump on me. How she can ask the water, Oh water, help me, please jump on the fire and put him out. The water answered, You help me, when I needed help. Now it's my turn to help you. The water jumped on the fire and put him out. When the cook returned, he saw that the fire was out and the water had spilled. The cook decided not to cook the chicken for the rain did not want any, any chicken soup, but she wanted nothing but salad. Then 
he picked up how chicken up by his only leg and flung him out the window. How chicken was stumbling in the air. He called out, Oh, wind, help me, please. The wind answered, You helped me when I need help. Now it's my turn to help you. The wind blew fiercely until the little rooster landed on one of the towers of the palace. From that day on, whether cup have stood on their one leg, pointing whichever their friend winds blows. The end.